Welcome to Land of House. I'm Seth. This is the EG4 12K Hybrid Mini Split. I've had this thing running almost every day this entire year, and I have to admit, I'm kind of a fanboy of this unit. It was easy to install and is quiet, doesn't use a lot of power, and has actually kept my house comfortable for this whole year. I have only turned on my AC one day, and it's because it was 90 degrees outside and it was uh, a little bit too warm. I think 76 in the house and uh, the mini split didn't quite keep up. But for the entire summer, this is all I've had to have. In late September 2024, Hurricane Helene smashed this area and we didn't have grid power for 18 days. My house got so hot for the early part of that and then the later half, the house got so cold and I realized without grid power, I didn't have any way of keeping the house dehumidified and comfortable in both the heat and the cold. So I ordered this as soon as we got internet back and installed it right away and it has been incredible. I am very happy to have this. I've got a step-by-step -step install video that's about 40 minutes long. I'll have a link to that in the description down below if you want to watch the full install. But putting this thing in actually was quite simple and you can do it yourself no problem without having to have a vacuum pump or any kind of special degrees or skill set to do so. So the step one is to find a good place where you want to install the unit. It has to be within 16 feet of the indoor unit. So keep that in mind that you kind of want to find a good place for both. Uh, an open wall space inside and a place outside within 16 feet that you can put the base as well. So I started off with the base. I leveled out the ground. I put in a plastic platform and then bolted the unit to that. Once I had the outdoor unit installed properly, I went inside. I had to drill a hole in the wall, which is probably the scariest part of this whole install. Mounting the indoor unit is pretty simple. It just has a bracket on the wall. Uh, the hardest part of that was pressing the lines through the hole that was cut. Now, one of the best things about this unit is that it has pre-charged lines. And so you just connect everything, tighten it down, and once that connection is made, the coolant circulates through the lines and you don't have to pull a vacuum. That is so convenient whenever installing this unit. Now, as far as the electrical side of things, I do have grid power. And when I say grid, I mean it's actually using my off-grid solar. And uh, that's just as simple as installing a breaker in your breaker panel, running the wire out to a disconnect, and then running that wire to the unit. Plugging it up to the power is very simple. You just have to have a couple of screws and it connects no problem. Now this unit is the hybrid version, so it can do both AC grid power and DC solar power. And so the unit came with four solar panels. I made a little ground mount, which is just simply some four by fours stuck in the ground with some Unistrut and then I mounted the panels straight to that. I ran about 50 feet of solar cable or wire to the unit. I have a disconnect in case I have to do some maintenance in the daytime. And that just simply plugs up to some MC4 connectors and you are good to go. That may sound like a lot of work, but honestly, if you watch my full install video, you'll realize you just take it in steps and it really is not that bad of a deal. Typically, I don't like a lot of smart appliances in my house, but the Solar Aircon app is great to have with the EG4 mini split because you can control this from anywhere in your house or out somewhere. So if you know that you left the temperature too high or low while you're on vacation, you can adjust it anywhere as long as you've got the Wi-Fi. So if you bring up the app, there's tons of great features. So check this out. This is the main screen here. You can see currently it's using grid power. At the, up at the top it says AC input. Now technically in my house, that's still solar power because this is connected to my inverter and battery and solar. But in your home, if you don't have that, it will just be using the uh, grid power early in the morning and overnight. And as soon as the sun's up, which I'll show you in a bit, it will swap over to having the, uh, the solar input and it can do both. So if there's a time in the day where you don't quite have enough sun, but you do have the AC, uh, it'll use back and forth on both. So right here in the middle of the screen is the current set temperature, which is 68. 
Down below that, you can see the total savings, which is just used from these solar panels on the hill, 340 kilowatts. Awesome. Now, if you bring up this tab at the bottom, you can see some great information. You can turn the unit off. You can swap between heating and cooling. You can adjust the fan speed. You can um, set different modes. You can move the louvers back and forth. You can turn on and off the display light for the temperature and you can adjust timers and Celsius and Fahrenheit and all that. But here's one of my favorite things. Down at the bottom, you can see the electrical usage over time. So for instance, 814 kilowatts is currently what I have used. Now keep in mind that's from my own solar as well. And so uh, if you do the math, my rate of power here in this area is about 35 cents per kilowatt hour and that comes up to about $220 saved so far from having this unit installed in the past eight months. Now you can see here the orange bars are the overnight power consumption and uh, if I click over here you can see the month. The green bars are the solar input. Now sadly with the mountain here and the trees I don't get sun until about 10 o'clock on these panels and then it's gone at about 4.30. So if you've got a bigger solar window, you'll see a lot more sunshine hitting this and save you even more. And then of course you can go through the year here and see the uh, difference in power. Um, but it's nice to be able to see that. So besides saving money because of solar and lower power consumption, this unit is also very quiet. So if you are concerned about how loud AC units can be, then this one is so nice to have. The outdoor unit, as you can hear, is running at full speed, and I'm able to talk to you no problem here right in front of this thing. Let's go inside real quick and listen to the indoor unit as it is working as well. I'm standing right under the indoor unit, and as you can hear, almost completely silent. This would be great even in a bedroom. You would barely hear it at night and uh, yet it is putting out plenty of air to keep my 1900 square foot home comfortable even during the summer. Now, of course, if you live in mid Texas where it is 120 degrees outside, you're gonna have to have more than one of these, but the 12K unit seems to keep my house comfortable even when it's 85 outside. About mid April, the temperature starts getting warmer here in the mountains and I turned this mini split on. So about five months now, it has run every single day nonstop and it has been the best thing I've done. I am very thankful that I installed this unit. It gives me peace of mind that I can have heating and cooling if the grid power is off, but it also saves a good bit of money by running this all year anyhow. Now, I've been talking a lot about the cool side of this, but what about the heat? So if you turn this on to heat, it does keep the house decently warm down to about 45 degrees outside. Anything more than that, and I typically have to turn on my central air to keep the house warmer. Um, so uh, if you have a smaller home, you could probably use this down, I would say even more, but my house is pretty big for a single unit like this. Now it does use more power whenever it is heating than whenever it's cooling. I've seen it upwards of eight or even 900 watts on heat mode versus the three to 400 whenever it's on cool mode. If you're on the fence on whether or not to get an EG4 hybrid mini split, I would say go ahead and do it. It is well worth the money, gives you peace of mind, saves on energy cost, and it is a great unit. I will have a link in the description down below if you want to check out more information on this hybrid mini split. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video.